So here we're looking at the UX 4F1. This is a, a two screen laptop. This is a first of a kind laptop. Uh, we have a 1080p display at the top and a, another 1080p display at the bottom. This is a 14 inch display and this is a 12.6 inch display. But the best part is that uh, the bottom display here is a complete touch screen display. And uh, this gives you more flexibility in terms of productivity as well as uh, what you want to use in day-to-day -day life. Mm. So this this top panel is a anti-glare panel, and this is not touchscreen. So this is a proper 1080p display without uh, touchscreen. But the bottom panel is touchscreen, and also it also recognizes a stylus, which comes inside the box itself. And you can use this stylus to basically do uh, some small paint work or whatever work you want to put and to uh, make it more easy will or accessible so what you can do is uh, you can open multiple applications here and uh, by the touch of a button they can just go on the top of the display uh, when you come down uh, you can move it around if you want uh, it's simply by just tapping the tapping the uh, top bar and moving it around and you'll see that in the display you'll see three uh, light bars popping up so oh, if you if I let's say I pop it here in the middle and you see that there's an animation and it'll pop into place so this way you can put up to three applications three at the bottom can can we do that now sure, sure. Uh, so uh, this way you can just uh, pop it out and uh, pick it in the right side pop in place so this is a snapping feature which we have you know uh, learned from uh, windows itself and uh, this also works with a window snapping features which is basically you can put it on the side and it will do half screens so this is a very uh, good feature in terms of you uh, doing multiple applications running multiple applications on a same laptop if i just want to take it up let's say uh, what all i have to do is uh, you know, on this so when i'm taken the top bar uh, when I touch the top bar you see that there are three icons which are coming up so it's uh, one is uh, this takes it on the front main screen this pins it to the display and this is a very in intriguing button when I pull it like this it will go full screen now you can what you can see is then I can paint in basically two screens I can move it around. So if I have a lot larger file, I can move it around. And uh, this is best shown if I have a web page on. But uh, those are the, some of the features which are there. But the best part is, all of these features you don't have to learn. Uh, they actually you have to learn, but there's a learning curve to it. But what you can do is go into settings menu and slide down. There's a quick idea. <clears throat> and you can choose between how to add an application to your launcher, organize your windows, open multiple apps at the same time. So all these features are built into the machine and you can just go into the user guide and it will tell you how to do it. There are more features available. So this is ScreenPad Plus as it shows. And there are more features so you can just put in the brightness up and down. Uh, there's a very cool feature. This. So if you have multiple applications running, let's say I'll just open Internet Explorer. And I'll basically drop it down in the bottom screen. This. Now let me open Paint for you. And drop it down in the bottom screen. Now let me open another Explorer. Uh, Windows E and mm -hmm. drop this down in the bottom as well. So now there are three applications that open at the bottom display and what you can do is swipe from the left there are three open applications. And I can pin up then and you can and pin up where, wherever you want. So if I want to let's say uh, I want to go back to File Explorer I'll just open the File Explorer and if I want to do something like this, so I, I'll now pin up applications for you. So now let me just paint goes here and we have our app explorer. It goes in the middle and this paint goes right side. So now you have three applications running side by side. And if you just want to, you know, in a scenario where you want to put all applications in the same bar, 
what you do is go in the menu there's a hot shot hotkey button and you select this you add a group so you can arrange multiple applications in this uh, panel and uh, select this group this will take a screenshot so now you can see this paint windows explorer and microsoft edge is open you can add another application on the top take a screenshot confirm it will take a screenshot now it's done now it's added as number one now i can close all these applications and now if i have to you know uh, bring back all the applications at one time all i have to do is go in this taskbar menu so the one is the application group we selected press that and it will app and will open all applications at the same positions as they were not just that you can basically add or delete keyboard shortcuts on this menu so let me just quickly turn it off and give you a shortcut so file explorer and let me put my music as a send to desktop so i've created a shortcut for my music and i'll bring this shortcut down the bottom display now if i want to put the shortcut here all i have to do is drag this drop it so you have a now you now have a shortcut for the windows explorer and this menu locks the keyboard so let's say you have to paint now so this will come in the way now it's, it won't come in the way because i've locked the keyboard and now i can paint putting my hand properly on the keyboard now i'll turn back the keyboard on and all these applications you saw they can move around top to bottom bottom to top there are multiple settings to do that default settings you can change change the background of the screen pad uh, you can add or subtract launcher settings uh, enable actions are there you can add screen pad to the battery life mode there's battery saver mode for the screen pad so that if you're working for a longer period of time you can just put it in battery saver mode so it will go a little demo compared to this display and uh, there's always a quick guide you can always go back to the quick guide to see all the applications so this is all about it this is the ux for it one